name is Spoon Jig, a rap artist out of um, the 978 of Massachusetts. It's like 25 minutes from Bean, Boston. Um, you know, I spit that hard rap, I mean, that pain shit. That's my specialty. That's, that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I don't really um, sugarcoat shit or um, not on that bitty bop rap. You know? Okay, I was a fan first, you know. Um, and I grew up in foster care, so, you know, letting shit that really related to me in, in places that I wasn't, you know, uh, familiar with, I always grasped to um, the music to bring me back to my roots and all that. You know, listening to Big, you know, Juicy, Pac, Keep Your Head Up, Fun. I listened to them niggas and, and it really, it really inspired me to, um, Something like that with my life, they were speaking the same shit I was going through at that time. You know, I would say I started rapping by like 12, 13 years old. I started writing, I started doing poetry first. I started writing deep poetry and shit, not no love poetry and shit like that. It was my feelings down, and then that's just progressed with the love of hip hop. I would always be spitting verses from, you know, Jay Z, Nas, or you know, one of my favorite artists at the time, and it just, like, it just, it was just so, it was a natural, you know what I'm saying, transition from poetry to, to rap to me. It was just too easy. Started taking music serious around 24, 25 years old. Started late. I was just fooled around with it at first. I just knew I was nice. I'd go to house parties, be battling niggas. Um, just bodying niggas. No, I got locked up, and <laughs> you know, shit be tight in jail, man. Niggas be fucked up, they ain't no money or whatever. Me canteen, start battling niggas for soups and shit. And that's that's why I found out like I was I was on a different bracket than niggas. Is that uh, I was, you know, in jail you meet different niggas from different areas. When you start battling niggas and you chewing them off. No, but I started taking music serious, like writing lyrics and, and wanting to go to the studio like 25 years old. Bringing the visual game into my rap game is, has brought a whole new level to it, actually. I think it's brought more fans. Um, people are really starting to, to understand what the fuck I'm talking about now. The whole visual game just brought it. Like I, I, I want it to be like, okay, I want niggas to really start taking me serious. You know, uh, anybody can go in the booth and say what the fuck you want to say, but how creative can I be? So uh, that's 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 how I took it with the visual game. I uh, first started, my first video was that Record Body, Off the Record Body, Holler That Luna. We did uh, Life Lessons. That was, a, that was a real deep track off that shit on um, the Record Body album as well. Real deep. We got into it, you know what I'm saying? It's about drug addiction and, and just the overall struggle in the streets, you know. These brothers is all rapping about money, hoes, and, 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 and cars and guns, and it's not really relative to what I'm doing right now. But for the visuals, they took it to a, a, a further extent. And not just even just the visuals, they took it to a further extent in the music. Because now I'm, you know what I'm saying? Bringing, I wanna, I wanna bring visuals like that. Like when you listen to Big, he was, you know, creating stories in his rhymes. When you listen to Nas, he creating stories, you know. And that's what I'm trying to bring it back to. I wanna um, be known as a lyricist, but for kicking the truth shit, you know, kicking real facts, me. You know, I don't wanna be um, remembered as a, 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 a phase. You know what I mean? I wanna be long in the game. Dizzy, they asking the girl who is he? No, I beats like Swizzy, one spoon to dig a kitty. Green administration, crowd connect committee. Gotta keep it gangster, baby, gotta keep it pretty.